So let's go into a demo. And in this demo, we're going to export and import a site uh, using PowerShell. So we're going to export a particular site, and then we're going to import it to a new site collection that we have. And, and we'll, of course, verify that the operation actually succeeded, su uh, completed successfully. So let's go into a demo. My goal is to take this Chemistry 101 site and to export it into a different site collection and specifically into this chemistryabcuniversity.com site collection. So we'll go to PowerShell and we're going to look at the possible commands that are, that are available to us. So if I type spweb, you'll notice that there is an export spweb command. And so that's the command that we're going to be using. Also, what's interesting is if you go into, um, into central administration and if you go into backup and restore, uh, you will find a, a front end, so the user interface for this command. And specifically, it's an export list or site. So here you could technically be doing the same thing um, just through the user interface, or at least the exporting part uh, through the user interface. But for now, we're going to stick to PowerShell. Uh, so if you look at um, export SB web, notice that it requires the, the identity and, um, and the path of, of what we're trying to um, export. So identity, in this case, that's the URL of the site. Uh, so for example, we'll type in ABC University courses. Chem 101 is, is what we're exporting. And the path could be just Chem 101 and CMP. So let's go ahead and insert this line. And let's just see what it looks like. So we're importing to that particular path. And uh, it says that it cannot find this object. That's because it didn't quite type it right. So let's go back and just add a 1. And now it is going to find the Chemistry 101 site. And we'll be able to, uh, to have it in the CMP file. And we're just waiting patiently for, for it to finish the export. Now the export is done. So what if we try an import? Uh, so the import, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to say import SPWeb. And the location that we're going to import into is Chem 101. And then it's going to be chemistry.abcuniversity.com. So let's go ahead and try that. And you can see that the error that we get back is we cannot find an SP web, uh, SP web object at this location. And the reason for it is that there is no SP web object there yet. Uh, so to do this properly, we'll do a new SP web. And we'll do it at that particular location. So we'll do chemistry, abcuniversity.com, chem101. And notice that I don't have to supply anything else like the template or the name because we'll override those values when we do the import. So let's create the new spweb object there. And by the way, if I try to browse to it right now, let's just, uh, just go back to this um, site collection. If you click on site contents, you kind of see that there's an empty entry, no name, nothing. And clicking on it makes you select the template. But there is a URL because we did specify the URL. So let's go to PowerShell and let's execute our import SP web. And this is actually importing Chemistry 101 site into that empty placeholder that we have. And at this point, it's done. There's a log file where we can just go and check the results. So if we go to site contents, refresh, you can see that there's a Chemistry 101 site. And you'll see that majority of the information from um, the other site collection came through.
But it looks like there's a little bit of an issue with the logo. So let's check out what that is. Go to site settings, go to title description and logos. And it looks like it's still pointing to the old URL, which we can easily change and click OK. And at this point, our site, um, everything has been imported. So now let's go back to PowerShell. Next, we're going to try to import a particular uh, a particular library. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say export spweb, and and we'll say cam101 documents is going to be our path. And what we're going to specify here is the item URL, and that's going to be courses. Cam 101, and then course materials. So that's the URL that I want to export. And we're going to press Enter to export that into, um, into Cam 101 documents. Now to import that, uh, we'll run a command again to, to import. So let's change. Cam 101 documents, and let's also import it to a different site so there's no confusion. So we'll we'll just import it to the root of chemistryabcuniversity.com. And let's check the results. So if we go to chemistry, so let's go up a level. Um, let's just remove that. And if you look, we actually moved course materials from one location to another. So we moved, moved it from one site collection to another. And of course, we already know that we can do this using save as template functionality too. Well, now you've seen how the export and import works, um, you can certainly try it in your own environment.